Hello Saddlebrook, it's Helen Howard from Desert View Fitness bringing you a wellness announcement from my home. This segment today is on muscle cramps and dehydration. With the hot weather that we're having, um, muscle cramps are something that we don't look forward to, but they can happen when we least expect them. So the best way to prevent them is through prevention, proper hydration, proper electrolytes, um, and knowing what to do if you get a muscle cramp. And first of all, I wanna say, if you get continuous muscle cramps and you're doing all these things, um, make sure you see your doctor. It could, you know, muscle cramps can be the cause of an underlying um, problem. And so you definitely don't wanna just ignore it and say it, it's from the heat if you've done all the precautions and you keep getting them. So first I wanna talk about is a little um, lip squeezing technique that I find extremely helpful. I tend to get muscle cramps, not in my legs, but in my feet, especially at night, sometimes when I'm sleeping, you know, that horrible cramping pain and you can't move your foot and you're just like paralyzed and you don't know whether to stand up out of bed real quick or what to do. A lot of times what I do is, and this works, and you're gonna see a video below on this, is the lip pinching technique. So about 95% of the time it works. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your lip. Now you can either pinch it with your thumb and your forefinger and hold it for like up to a minute and just pinch it as hard as, hard as you can without hurting you. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but um, just hold that for a minute. You can also take your thumb inside your mouth and your top finger on your lip and hold it and pinch it that way. There's a pressure point here that will um, release that cramp. So it works most of the time for me. The other uh, important thing that you need to do is stretch. Stretching before bed is very helpful and just very, especially if you're prone to Charlie horses, you wanna stretch and hold these stretches for at least a minute. So before I show you these stretches, I wanna talk about hydration, making sure that when you wake up in the morning that the first thing you do is drink a big glass of water, not coffee. I know that coffee pot, that coffee smells really great and um, it's tempting, but drink your water first. And remember coffee does dehydrate you. So um, even though you might think you're getting fluids, you need water and you also need electrolytes. Those of you who are out there playing sports, softball, pickleball, swimming, whatever it is, walking, uh, you're continuously letting out uh, your fluids through your sweat. Even though you might not feel you're sweating in this desert air, you are losing water. So it's so important to continuously hydrate. Don't wait to drink a glass of water when you already feel that headache coming on or your lips are dry. Keep drinking all day long, my friends. And you might wanna add some electrolytes to your water. I find the, the best for me is a pinch of sea salt and some lemon water, or you can buy some electrolytes at the store. Hopefully not, um, Gatorade is, it works, but it's full of sugar, full of dyes, full of other stuff that we don't necessarily wanna put in our bodies. But if you're a Gatorade fan, I'm not gonna say, um, it's your body, you can make the choice yourself. So you know where I'm going from there. Anyways, um, let me show you a couple stretches. Very simple, you've seen these before. I'm gonna come over here to this wall so I have a little more room and you can see my feet. You're gonna have your legs uh, going straight ahead. Make sure you're not turning out. I'm gonna show you on this side. Make sure this back leg isn't turned out. Your toes need to be straight ahead. Now spread your toes out and you're gonna bend this knee and just press forward. Keep your chest lifted. You don't wanna come down like this and do a bunch of crazy rocking stuff. Just hold it here, chest up, and breathe into that stretch. So breathe into the muscle that you're stretching. It's very, very important that you're conscious of what you're doing and not just going through the motions. So you're gonna hold it here for at least a minute, and then you would do the other side. So that's gonna take care of your calves and, um, part of your hamstrings and your quads in the front. The other stretch for your, the back of your legs and your hamstrings is you're gonna put your foot up on a chair, or I'm just using a low box here, and I'm gonna hinge forward and hold it. 
and I'm gonna breathe into the stretch again. I wanna make sure I feel it in my hamstrings and maybe low point and flex my foot, but the um, focus is in the back of my leg. So I hold up for up to a minute. Now, if you're getting ready to go out for a run and you've got the flexibility, stretch your quads. You're gonna grab, hold onto a wall so you don't fall over. Grab your um, the back of your foot and you're gonna just gently press your hips forward and stay tall and think about opening up through the front of the hip and stretching out the quadricep muscle. Again, you wanna hold it for at least a minute. Um, that is about all I have to say. You're gonna see more uh, information at the bottom of this um, announcement. And stay well, stay hydrated, stay cool. Don't try to go out and work out when it's 111 degrees. It really isn't a smart thing to do. So the best thing we can do is kind of shelter in and stay, um, keep ourselves well and get out early in the morning for those walks and your exercise. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.